G'day everyone and welcome to another one of my Star Wars videos. I'm going to show you the bonus figure that's been sold with the Vintage Collection recently. And that's Boba Fett. And I've picked up two of these. I'm going to keep one in the packaging and I'll open the other one. I think um, overseas these are a mail away figure but in Australia um, you can get them from Toys R Us exclusively when you spend a certain amount of money you get the figure for free I was lucky and uh, got a pretty cooperative girl at the shop and she let me go through all the ones that they had so I could pick the, the best condition one most of them had the punch hole out, but I got a couple that still had them in, which is a little like, extra detail. Um, so let me have a look at this. A fearsome interplanetary bounty hunter, a threat to the Rebel Alliance, Han Solo, especially Han Solo, a new character in Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back. If you look on the back, you'll see this figure was apparently originally released at that time, which was just before the Empire Strikes Back. So the back of the card. Interestingly, it's called or well, numbered VCP03, which I'm not sure what that stands for. Maybe Vintage Collection Piece A3. I'm not sure. If someone could tell me that'd be good. Um, he's here at last, after 30 years. The Boba Fett figure with the rocket firing backpack has reached this galaxy. The story of this mail away figure is well known among Star Wars fans, and we're here to deliver the goods. This figure is a, is a recreation of the original Boba Fett figure with the addition of that all important rocket firing feature. Good things come to those who wait, and the wait is officially over. Enjoy. There's the original one, which I guess the backpack never fired on this one or something. That's the, the new feature they're talking about. I remember I did originally have one of those a long, long time ago. <laughs> I've got um, a second copy or the second card of all these which I'm going to open as well and I'll eventually do a review of them all out of the packet or not a review, just a, a video of them all out of the packet and give you another opinion so I'm sure it'll change a little bit from what I thought when I just saw them in the packet The figure looks pretty cool. I'm looking forward to opening it. But, um, it's hard to decide whether I should actually open it or not. But, uh, well, life's too short, isn't it? So, I'll keep one in the packet and open another one. Don't really have much else to say. Just wanted you to have a look at this. Um, the other vintage video that I did yesterday was a bit rushed. Um, so I've done this separately completely. It's so interesting that it doesn't actually have the Empire Strikes Back written on the card where all the other ones did. while I was shooting that it was kind of a little bit dark because it's so overcast here today so I just open the blinds a lot more it should give you a, a better look I think the colours and everything show up better
think it's probably better that they're not mail away because you can get them instantly. I think it's a much better idea. One thing I, I noticed when I was looking on eBay, so I think the American ones, they seem to have a some sort of a gold stamp sort of looking thing there that, that describes how it's a mail away figure or something. And I've noticed down the bottom of the blister, they have uh, like the mail away voucher. So I think these ones are pretty cool that they don't have that marking on them. Just about do this video, I think. Of the brand new 2010 bonus figure from the vintage collection, Boba Fett. So anyway, I will do some more videos. And if maybe a week or so, I'll get around to doing some more. I've got some cool videos planned. So anyway, till next time. May the force be with you.